Let's discuss some of the specific supplies and equipment you'll be using. Your supplies are usually delivered to your home and may include syringes, a feeding bag, a pole, feeding solutions, a pump, and a backpack for carrying the pump. The different types of syringes will include a 5 milliliter syringe to add water to the balloon, a large 30 or 60 milliliter syringe for giving the feeding or flushing the tubing with water, a 5 to 10 milliliter syringe for flushing with smaller amounts of water or giving larger amounts of medication. By 2015, NFIT twist tip syringes will begin to be used. The twist tip only fits into the ends of enteral feeding systems and not other tubes that enter the body. Several types of adapters may be used to connect older syringes with feeding tubes until all the syringes supplied are twist tip and fit connectors. A feeding tube bag delivers larger amounts of feeding by gravity or is attached to a pump. Feeding is added at the top opening and there are clamps on the tubing. A feeding tube extension set is used for G-tube button feedings. The extension is attached between the feeding set and the feeding button and is always removed after flushing at the end of the feeding. An enteral feeding pump delivers feedings at a steady rate. It is electric or battery operated and has alarms to alert you if there is blockage in the flow, air in the tubing, and when the feeding is complete. The pump can be attached to a pole on wheels or placed in a backpack. A gauze dressing may be placed around the feeding tube after insertion for one to two days. A medication cup is used to measure the correct amount of medication or water to draw up in a syringe.